Good afternoon to everyone. And my name is Sebastián Ochoa, and my topic is the relationship between processes being intake and colon cancer. <coughs> I want to start talking about the news that moved me to make this position. Well, the last year, uh, WHO made public an investigation that showed the cancer potentiality of the meat consumption. There was, that was a controversial news, there was a news that impacted the world, and there, were, there was a news that was made public by many newspapers all over the world. We have the, the ABC, El Mundo, El País from Spain, and the international uh, red of news, CNN. What, but what got my attention was a, a news that was made public by, in, on first page by Universal. It was that, that cancer has rise his, its incidence in Ecuador and and it was the fifth cause of death in Guayaquil. There is some statistics that show the rise of the incidence of the cancer uh, over 10 years in, the, in Ecuador, and it showed that uh, Quito is the most affected city in Ecuador. Well, the relationship between these two things is based in scientific researches and, and the results that were shown were, were, was based, were based in about 800 investigation over 20 years. Uh, the relationship was demonstrated and was demonstrated that meat consumption caused colon cancer mainly, but also can cause another types of cancer as pancreatic cancer and prostatic cancer. Um, the, this investigation showed that the the red meat, the processed meat, and the fried meat, it produce two chemicals, the amines and the nitrosamines. And this, these two chemicals are, are the cause that the colon cells, that the cells in the body, start to change. And the change of these cells is the cause of the growth of these cells to grow without control and produce a tumor that will be the cancer. Well, there are several consequences in, the, in, this, in this disease. One of them is the alteration of the intestinal rhythm, causing diarrhea and causing constipation. There can eat disease, and the, the most common consequence of this disease is a, is a change in the size of the stool or the, or, or, or the presence of blood in the stool. These, the changes are caused because of the tumor that is in the colon that is shown in this image. Other manifestation of the disease is the abdominal pain is the, and the weight loss. And there have been proposed several recommendations by the WHO and by specialists, specialists in this area that said that to prevent this disease we need to improve our alimentation, stop eating a lot of fried meat or stop eating red meat and to avoid other bad habits like alcohol, alcohol and, and smoking. And, and uh, finally, but most important for the prevention of this disease is that the specialists recommend to make a colonoscopy. It's a, a study that will prevent, will show if there is a change in the colon and it is recommended to make it uh, one year after, each year after the 50, 45 years old. And in conclusion, this investigation is not made to pro promote a diet, but to, to say that there is a real relationship between the meat consumption and the colon cancer. Thank you.